Jay Canna, and the Sober Wayne, Sober One. <laughs> I gotta get that settled. But that was Wayne Sobers on the bass, Juan Santos on percussion, and Jay Canna on the guitar. I'm excited to present our next guest. He is a comedian. He is a 2014 Sirius XM top comic. Next top comic, we have Faisal Butt here with us. Thanks, guys. Uh, hello, everyone. Everyone at home, uh, you guys are probably staring at me, wondering, like, uh, I don't have anything in common with that guy. And we do. Uh, like you, I have white friends. And uh, let me say this. I love my white friends, except these days they're a little too cocky when they're joking with me, because they'll be like, hey, Faisal, look at you, man. You're brown. Your hair's all over the place. You look like a terrorist, right? High five. I just like to say that, because I'm your white friend. And, and I always respond with, man, why can't I just look lazy <laughs> or broke? Ew. You know how much a Mach 3 blade costs in this economy? $15.99. $17.46 with tax. It's four shots of Jack Daniels with no tip. <laughs> My weed guy who I found on Craigslist gives me five grams at that price. Because ladies and gentlemen, society, I'm a 38-year-old unemployed, whiskey-drinking, pot-smoking Muslim who's dating a white girl from London, England. <laughs> yeah, so the only people I'm terrorizing are my parents. <laughs> I've got a jihad on their dreams. Oh. Every time they call me, they're like, Faisal, this is not why we moved to Canada. Sorry, I'm really bad with accents. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, my name is Faisal Butt. That is my real name. It's not a clever stage name I picked. It's my real name. And that is not a good name to have when you're in high school or prison. <laughs> have you guys ever been bored and then you just sort of Google your own name just to see, like, who else in the world shares that bond with me, right? I did that once. I Googled Faisal Butt and 18 million porn sites just popped up. <laughs> and then Google on its high horse is like, oh, did you mean facial butt? And I was like, no, Google, no. Just trying to feel good about myself, but thanks for introducing me to my new thing. So I also I also have a daughter now who's a year, and I love her. Uh, she's beautiful. Um, it was really tough though picking a name when your last name is Butt, because um, I want to give her as many advantages as possible, right? So I remember two days before she was born, my my wife is like, "Oh, this baby's about to pop out," and he's like, "We haven't picked a baby name." I'm like, "What do you got?" She's like, "Okay." If it's a girl, I really like the name Melanie or Arlene or maybe Maya. And if it's a boy, maybe Harrison or Hamilton or, or Dixon. And I'm, I was like, wait, no. All of these names suck, OK? Because she's really beautiful, and I look like the bad guy from True Lies. So <laughs> chances are our offspring are going to look amazing. There's no way my son was showing up to a job interview and being like, hey, how you doing? My name's Dixon. Dixon Butt. <laughs> Give me a job, Google. If I'm at a strip club and I hear, coming to the stage right now is Maya Butt, well, I'm, intri I'm intrigued and I'm putting my phone down. So we had a heart to heart, and in the interest of this baby, the baby des we decided the baby's going to take my girl's last name. Uh, and you guys are wondering what her last name, and I'll tell you. But I decided to give the baby a brown first name, and I chose the name Suleiman, which I think means warrior or widow. I'm not sure. <laughs> And you guys are like, what's your girl's last name? Now I'll tell you, because we're all friends. It's Fart House. So I think I, think I chose the right one. <laughs> so you look for Suleiman Fart House somewhere on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks, guys. Amazing. <laughs> hey, they clap. Basil. Come on, join me up here. Yeah, they did clap. They really enjoyed you. I enjoyed you. That Thank was you. awesome. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for having me. Um, so I, I uh, you know, Facebook is really cool. You can stalk people and stuff. So I found out you did a, did a show with the debaters. Yeah, CBC. I did uh, two weeks ago in Ottawa. That's awesome. Uh, I love that show. Yeah, it was great. I was going up against uh, a debater's OG, Dave Hempstead. Oh, okay. And uh, he won. Right. Uh, but it was just like an amazing experience. Yeah. And the, the topic was men who stay at home. Oh, nice. To look after babies is a good thing. And that's I was, awesome. I was for it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Would you I'm, do it again? I would definitely. And I think they were like, I didn't go, it didn't, it wasn't that bad. So yeah. 
Uh, cool. I think they'll bring me back. Nice. Can I uh, shout out my fake Yeezys right yeah, now? Yeah, please. Hey, you don't wow. need to spend three thousand dollars on sneakers when you can get these for twenty-two. On, and where on do you get them for twenty-two? On AliExpress. Oh. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. I shouldn't have outed myself on That's that. all right. There's a lot of fake stuff out there. Yeah. That I'm, I would totally flaunt. I'm very proud of them. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, I think. Wear we them should. with pride. Absolutely. So um, we've got about thirty seconds left. If you want to just um, oh dear. Um, pitch out or like uh, plug your show coming up? Sure. I'm uh, doing the industry TV film showcase at uh, Hard Rock. Um, so it's like a it's like a showcase for up and for up and coming actors right. and comics. So if they do a Gandhi reboot, <laughs> uh, right here, this guy, and then uh, the Canadian Music Week Music Week is happening, and I have my own show on Good May fourth. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, at the Great Sweet. Hall. So I'll be there. Cool. I've got yeah. pass. Oh yeah, wicked. Wicked. So, nice job. Thanks, Arlene. All right. This thank you so much for being here. A lot smoother than I thought. Excellent. Well, thanks for being here, Hazel. Take it away, Jake Anna, and the Silver Ones.